In the summer of 2016, my mom smacked a newspaper article down on my desk with the words, blockchain, the technology of the future. I laughed. In my young mind, blockchain was just another slow database trying to compete with existing faster data exchange methods. What started off as a cynical reaction to those headlines intrigued me to the point that I'm here now, four years later, talking about the technology that is turning higher education on its head. Blockchain is already seen as the solution to many problems universities and schools face. Higher education is buffeted by disruptive forces, and chief among them is online learning. Higher education is something that most people aspire to, but due to economic necessity, many students opt for quicker and faster options to learn for a fraction of the costs. The rise of mass and massive open online courses, or MOOCs, presents the very real prospect that most students will elect for no cost options. Because of the pandemic, the amount of people opting for these degrees out of necessity is increasing, and it is no longer perceived as inferior to an actual four-year experience at a university. Hence, we find the higher education uh, sector primed for a change. Seemingly straightforward tasks like sharing a school transcript currently, currently require an inordinate amount of time and money compared with similar transactions in the digital world. Institutions are struggling to keep up with these cha uh, changes and students are frustrated at these long waiting periods. All of the 12th graders at ABBA are soon going to realize this. But the greatest area of concern is the security and storage of student records. Since each organization controls its own data, it can be altered or deleted, and there is no fail safe or redress should the data become corrupted. In April 2019, Georgia Tech had a data breach that exposed 1.3 million records following unauthorized access to the institution's network. Even the creme de la creme of higher education has been subject to hacks in the last 10 years exposing student records and affecting graduates and undergraduates, impacting their careers and livelihood. Now, what if I were to say that the technology that cryptocurrencies, cryptocurrencies and specifically blockchain is built on is going to affect not just banking, but education? I'd like to start by giving you an image of what blockchain could do. Imagine a world revolutionized by blockchain where every course, project and certification you've achieved is accessible at a click of a button where your phone and a key is all you need to identify yourself at any location on campus, where your records are always online and always secure, and you don't have to think, I have to make sure I have to download and secure my report card. A world where projects you work on are uniquely, and more importantly, legally yours. A world here, you never have to worry about credit transfers or data breaches or compromise security. Isn't that a world that is faster, safer, and more convenient? The integration of blockchain into our education system could provide that. Before we look at the applications in education, first, let's just take a look at blockchain technology. Blockchain serves as a platform for achieving and maintaining integrity in distributed peer-to-peer -peer systems, obviating the need for a central authority or a clearinghouse. Essentially, this means that the tech allows digital information to be distributed, but not copied. Each individual piece of data can have only one owner. Each owner maintains his or her own credentials. These could include transactions, credentials, certifications, etc. Et Community members, in the case of education, the school body, can view transactions in their, in, in their entity. For example, if a student adds a new certificate to their growing resume, the community members, the school body, as per the blockchain settings, will be able to view the transaction. These entries are permanent, transparent, and secure. Every new entry is a block added to an ever-growing chain. Entries are verified, validated, recorded, and then processed by a, by a blockchain protocol that controls the entire process. This is then verified through cryptology, which acts as the keeper of trust, rather than third-party intermediaries with a consensus algorithm running to certify the integrity of the entity and the ledger. Now that you have this understanding, let's look at our first application in storing student records. Currently, storing student records in most higher education institutions involves proprietary formatting and little to no interoperability with exclusive access by an institution staff. Most higher education institutions store student records for just under six years. Blockchain records, on the other hand, are stored permanently. This is regardless of if the institution closed down or if the entire education system collapses. So important documents for the student will be securely protected and verified 
regardless of whether a user has access to the institution's internal record keeping system. The validity of the document will never be in question as it will be verified on the blockchain and does not require a third party to verify it. Documents could range from pure rating and score credits to completion statuses and final certifications. The student must enter their digital credentials, which warrant a certified upload for their university to then view. It allows for other universities and employers to view when possibly observing a prospective candidate. A second application blockchain could also play an integral role in is identity, identity verification. Using blockchain, you could distinguish yourself online while also allowing yourself to keep control and manage your own personal data. Blockchain can then be further implemented into social gatherings, social events, attendance tracking. So if you were to go for an event on campus, all you, all you would require is a phone and a digital key where a copy of the data would be stored in the blockchain and only select individuals from the academic institution would have access to that information, alleviating the need of third party verifiers and removing the possibility of unwanted, unwanted data being exposed. Blockchain has already cemented itself as a prominent technology with billions of dollars being invested to broaden the development and the deployment of the technology. Currently, there are a few examples of blockchain in education. Seventeen, the University of Melbourne started using blockchain to issue digital credentials. This allowed students to share verified copies of their qualifications with employers and other third parties in a tamper-proof sy system. The MIT Media Lab la launched BlockCerts, an open infrastructure for creating, issuing, verifying uh, blockchain-based certificates in partnership with Learning Machine. Therefore, blockchain has the potential to reduce costs and eliminate fraud in the data verification process. It makes our lives easier and more secure. Blockchain will also increase innovation through collaboration between businesses and educational institutions and boost efficiencies via smart contracts that execute automatically when certain conditions are met. From credit transfers and record storage to IP protection and information security, blockchain has the potential to revolutionize the way we experience our education and the way our education system impacts us. Thank you.